Hi everyone! For my first video project, I'm gonna transform this beautiful lady into one of my favorite villains from My Hero Academia, Debbie. As you can see, I have a grey and black background. Grey is a fantastic color for video and photo project because you can add different colors on it depending of the character you want to do. A blue purple will be perfect for Debbie. The first step is to paint the burnt skin Debbie has under his eyes, on his chin way down to the neck, and on his arms. I'm gonna use Paradise Face Pen color Porto from Meron as the base color. I really love the color, but I think it's too bright and red, so I'm gonna add some dark purple eyeshadow. The goal here is to add darker spot here and there, just to make a texture illusion. It's not a big color change, but I really love the result. Now, let's add more texture effect. I'm gonna use black eyeshadow to make random lines and blend them by adding this dark brownish red color. This is looking good, but there's still one step to do. With black and dark purple eyeshadow, I'll darker the extremities, just to make the burned body parts pop up a little bit more. I'm so pleased with the result! Now use your concealer to mask smudge if you may have done some, just like I did with my red eyes and a little bit on my chest area. Now it's time for the stitches line. I'm gonna use three different colors of Meron Paradise face paint. First, grey for the stitches, then black for the vertical line on the chin, and then finally white. Black and grey color have been used, but I forgot to do something before using the white paint. To give a metallic effect on the grey lines, I'll use a shiny eyeshadow. Plus, for 3D illusion, I will need a darker skin color and my dark purple eyeshadow at each extremities of each grey stitches. The grey is shiny and I really love the shadow effect on the skin. Now I can use the white paint. And done! The trick is to add just a slim white line. For that, be sure not to add too much water in your paint. Now let's finish the eyes with black eyeliner for the bottom part only. And since Debbie have black eyebrows, I'm gonna use black eyeshadow on mine. This step is super easy and very important. There's only two things missing now. First, the wig. I asked a friend of mine if I could borrow one of his old black wigs. 
The hair are longer than Dabby's actual look and the size of the cap is a little bit too small from my head but I hope it will still be okay. Before putting the wig on, I need to do the upper lip with concealer and skin tone powder. The final step is done. Now let's change clothes and put the wig. So this is my final result. The wig is way too small for me, but hey, I got it for free and I'm still pleased with it. Now let's act like a villain. I really hope that you liked my video and maybe got some ideas to use on your own personal cosplay project. I intend to make more video like this one, so if you have any character suggestion for me, don't hesitate to write them in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and stay inspired!